black, we've got our yellow, and then this one here is kind of hard to see. And it's a little bit sun bleached, but this is a brown. So this is going to our start winding of our condenser fan motor. This is run. This is common. And down here, similarly, we have blue is going to our start, yellow is going to our run, and black is going to our common. Okay, so today we're gonna take a look at this carrier stray cool unit. Very simple system, but we're gonna look at it through the eyes of understanding schematics specifically. So we're gonna go through the schematic, we're gonna point out some of the components, and uh, hopefully give you a little bit of a kind of a grasp of just the basics. It's gonna be very simple, but this is the way to really learn how to read schematics and diagrams. Always pull the disconnect and then reconfirm to make sure that voltage is actually on to ground and leg to leg. Okay, so here we have a connection diagram and a, schema a schematic diagram that show essentially the same thing. On a connection diagram are L1 and L2, these dashed lines. That means field connected power. They're coming in the side here in order to look more like real life. Whereas here, you're connecting in between L1 and L2 on either side. So let's start there. We'll identify this L1 and L2, L1 and L2, as well as ground. That's the symbol for equipment ground, that little pyramid, kind of upside down pyramid with lines. So let's identify our high voltage field connections coming in. We've got our L1, here we've got our L2 coming into our contactor. Next, let's take a look at our contact points. You can see that we have this, what we call a plus one, which is just a bar that goes across the contactor. So on this, that would be this side over here, because again, this is splitting it up based on L1 and L2. So that 23 and 23 is gonna be the same as over here. And that is the contactor here, that's this, metal bar on the right side of the contactor. So that is 23 and 23. You can see that mark there, 23 and 23 on that factory contactor. Now we've got points 11 and 21. This is what breaks L1. These are our normally open contacts that then close in order to bring on the condenser, in order to bring on the compressor and the outdoor fan motor. We can also identify those over here. These are gonna be 11 and 21. And sure enough, 11, 21, and our contacts are right underneath there. You can see our equipment grounding block. That's how that looks around the connection diagram. And here, that's gonna be this terminal right here. That is our ground. It's for safety. Okay, next, let's take a look here at this crankcase heater circuit. Now, we're gonna look for this extra black wire that goes from one side to the other. And you're gonna notice these have stars on them. CH, that's crankcase heater. CHS, let's see what these say they are. CH, crankcase heater, crankcase heater switch, and the star means maybe factory or field installed. So that means that's not necessarily here. Sure enough, it is not here because you can see we don't have a black going to the other side circuit. All we have is our compressor common right here. This big wire, this is our compressor common, and then this is our condenser fan motor common. So it is not present in this particular application. And let's take a look at our capacitor. This is another one. We've got our blue wire that goes to our start winding on our compressor. Let's see if we can find that on our capacitor. Sure enough, this is our blue wire. This goes to the start winding of our compressor and you can see it's marked perm there. Now, a lot of people uh, misunderstand and they think that the start winding is only in during start. This is known as a permanent split capacitor motor, a compressor. And so that start winding is actually in all the time. But the only power that can go in and out of the start winding is power that moves in and out of that run capacitor. So in this case, the start winding is actually connected to Herm on a run capacitor. This is called a run capacitor. Sort of a confusing terminology there. There's another set of accessories. You've got a, a SR here. That is a start relay and an S. C, a start capacitor, and an ST, a start thermistor. Notice these all have stars on them. And so actually, in this case, this unit does not have any of these, but this could be a factory installed option, and that's why it's shown here. These are actually not gonna be in this piece of equipment. So let's look at our next wire here on our compressor. We've got our common, which is black, goes to C, connected to terminal 21. And sure enough, terminal 21, this is our compressor. This big wire is our compressor common, and the small one is our condenser fan common. Let's see if we can locate that one. Condenser fan, common, goes to black and up to 21, so that's what we've got. 
Now let's see, we've got two yellows. One goes to run on the compressor, so it goes to our run winding. And that's right here, big one. And then this yellow one, this other yellow one here, let's see, it's, it says it's going to C on the capacitor. Let's see if we can locate that one. So if we look here, there's C on the capacitor and there's that yellow wire going to terminal number 23. If you look over here, we can find that right here. Let's see if we can find that. There is our C and it's coming over here to terminal 23 because again, this ladder form schematic is set up where it's making the connection between L1 and L2 all the way across. Now let's see here, we've got some of our low voltage connections are shown here. So we got yellow, which is our compressor contactor. It's going through all these controls according to this, but you notice these all have stars. Low pressure switch, DTS, what is that? It's discharge temperature switch and HPS, which is our high pressure switch. So let's see if we can find the yellow wire coming in. Sure enough, we got this yellow going to yellow and blue, and that's just going directly to the contactor. So we're not, we don't have any of those accessories in place. This is our 24 volt call from our thermostat. It's going straight to the contactor and the other side of the contactor, which is our 24 volt common. It's going straight over here and it's connecting to, it looks like they're using black for common here. Blue is commonly used for common often, but in this case, they're using black. So it's using black and yellow as our yellow call, which is contactor call and our 24 volt common. So we've already identified everything inside this condenser. Let's go ahead inside this condenser panel that's on this diagram. We've already pointed out every wire. So now let's open it up and see what we've got on the inside. Black, we've got our yellow, and then this one here is kind of hard to see. And it's a little bit sun bleached, but this is a brown. So this is going to our start winding of our condenser fan motor. This is run. This is common. And down here, similarly, we have blue is going to our start, yellow is going to our run, and black is going to our common. Let's take a look at that on the diagram. To show it once again, let's go up here to the schematic side. Run is, well, it doesn't show our color here, but it's going to terminal 23. Start is our blue, C is our common, and going to the other side. Let's see if we can see it here. There it is. Black is common, blue is start, going to the run capacitor on the Herm terminal, and then yellow going to the other side of the contactor to run on the compressor. Outdoor fan motor, yellow. Going over here, terminal 23, brown. It's going to the F terminal. It actually says fan on the capacitor. That's that brown, that's our start. And then black is our common going to the other side. So that's how you apply this. And, and again, when you start with these, it's good to look down here and kind of pay attention to the notes. Symbols are electrical representation only. They have inherent thermal protection, meaning that there's overloads, thermal overloads. Tells you what size VA the transformer is required. There's lots of really good information on here, and you'll find that it makes a lot more sense when you're working on a unit for the first time, especially if you're new to it, to go through and understand everything that's on here, pay attention for their things that may not be present. They may just be on the diagram because they could be installed, and you'll find that it makes a lot more sense. That's a little basic connection and schematic diagram walkthrough on a carrier strike coal. Thanks for watching.